I'd like to talk a little bit about the symptoms of hepatic encephalopathy. Let me say from the get-go, I get mad talking about the symptoms. I get mad not just because I have them. I get mad because other people are usually quick to point out to me that I've got them. And in my support groups that I go to on Facebook, there's one for family and caregivers that we can't access. And you know what? That's a good thing because they need someone to talk them through helping us to understand that we do have symptoms of hepatic encephalopathy. Guys, the truth is is that um, we don't always have our full mental fa faculties. We are forgetful and we're confused. Now, everybody can be that way, whether you've got HE or not. Slurred speech uh, is usually a good indicator. Reverse sleep patterns, which is also just a part of liver disease, is another thing. I was up all night last night. That's why I'm making these videos. I'm going through a pretty severe episode of HE right now, and I've been off my meds, and I'm getting real. Poor judgment. Getting off your meds is poor judgment, and <laughs> that's one of the symptoms, not knowing where you are, where you're going. Uh, been lost in Walmart lately. Walked around the parking lot for 10 minutes looking for your car. I hit that clicker. <laughs> I swear I looked for my car for a full 10 minutes in the cold weather just a few days ago, and I should have known then to get back on my meds. And I just didn't do it. Uh, inappropriate behavior. I don't know what inappropriate behavior is. Maybe it's like going on a bonanza of shopping on the shopping network or something. I'm not a big shopper. Um, I don't know what inappropriate behavior would be. I know I've, I've acted very um, inappropriate for my own personality. I've gotten very sleepy or I've gotten very cranky and just short and hateful with people. Or I've just slept and gone to bed. Um, and I'm a pretty congenial person. <laughs> I can, I get a little mean. I'm just, I'm just gonna say it. I get a little snappy, and I can be very critical and judgmental. And I'm working on it. And just dealing with the HE is not going to help that. I also have to make some modifications to my lifestyle and the way that I think, because a lot of it has to do with just dealing with end stage uh, cirrhosis. Getting the tremors or the flapping with your hands um, is a really a sad part. Um, poor handwriting can also be a really big clue, and I can't even take notes and read them right now to write, and we'll see how that goes after a few days on the, back on the Zifaxin. Um, there are a lot of symptoms, and we've got to watch out for them. And if you've gotten to the end of this video, you've experienced this symptom. And I'm going to be making some more videos. I'm going to try to keep them short because if you've got HE, you've got a short attention span. Love you guys.